All right, hey there, YouTube. Dubs Rider here, and uh, it's been a while since I've had the CTXL vlogging. Been tied up with work and stuff, and uh, I just haven't had a chance to get out and shoot any vlogs. I start out by saying uh, thanks to all those people that have commented and uh, liked my video on the F6B versus the Honda CTX. That uh, that video has been pretty popular over the last week and a half or so. And uh, I think it answers a pretty important question to anybody looking to get into a new kind of touring slash non-old people bike. And I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna, I guess, I just, m mentally, that's where I put myself, right? When I, uh, when I think about a gold wing or something like that. It, it's, it really is not an old people's bike. Um, it's a, uh, it's a really good bike. I can't, I can't, uh, deny that. And there's a lot of not, not old people that ride that bike. There's, there's just, uh, the only thing that I can do to kind of, relate it for myself is like I said I was when I had my 86 Goldwing I was part of the uh, CTI or the, the Goldwing Road Riders Association and uh, my wife and I decided to go to one of the meetings and you know just kind of check it out see what it was all about and you know it's a great group of people it really was but we were the youngest people there by far and I don't know if that's just because of the bike or if that's just my area and there, there could be other people that are part of the Gold Wings Road Rider Association that are quite a bit younger in different areas, I don't know. But um, it was definitely eye-opening to see that we were, we were the youngest people there. And again, really great people. Nothing bad to say about it at all, but it was, uh, it was definitely eye-opening. So when I say old people's bike or non-old people's bike, that's kind of what I mean. I mean no disrespect to anybody. I, uh, I just kind of go put my own spin on it, I guess. But uh, yeah, I've, uh, it's been a while since I've been out on the CTX. Figured I'd uh, spend some time today vlogging. It's crazy how when you decide that you're gonna moto vlog. And I think it's interesting that I see a lot of different like channels out there with moto vloggers and um, you know obviously we all know about the, the large moto vloggers, the, the uh, Chase on Two Wheels, the Jake the Garden Snake, um, you know Yummy R6, we know about all of those. But you, you notice that they're going these spurts and I was really trying to avoid that for myself and that it, it's something that's kind of hard to, to stick to. I really like those classic old trucks there. Maybe I'll stop by on my way home and uh, see what see what he might want to sell that for. So I really do love those classic old trucks. Put a nice 350 in them, and uh, yeah, you can't can't beat an old old truck with modern performance. But uh. I, uh, I just kind of noticed that, you know, they kind of go in spurts and consistency is a huge part of uh, of growing a fan base when uh, you're a moto vlogger. And I know it's a, it's a struggle um, because, you know, obviously this is not something that you can do as a full-time career, at least for myself personally, I, I can... I couldn't do this as a full-time career because there's just no money in it. So, um, you know, obviously you spend your time working on, I've got my business going and uh, I, I've got a full-time job. And so I just kind of try to divide up my, uh, divide up my time as evenly as possible. But I still have a true passion for moto vlogging. I, I mean, it, it, the more I've got, gotten into it, I think probably the first 10 or 15 videos or so, I uh, I wasn't quite sure whether or not this is something I wanted to do long term or um, whether or not this was something that um, 
I was comfortable doing, I guess you might say, because you, uh, you're you putting yourself out there, you know, and, and you open yourself up to trolls, and I've done a few other videos on, uh, on uh, you know, trolls and things like that, but, I mean, you're just not, I wasn't really sure getting into it, and uh, then you have the thing of topics, you know, where do you want to take your channel, how do you want to be a little bit different than, uh, than other people that are motovlogging out there. And uh, really, I, I watched a video the other day by Triple uh, uh, X Deadhead where he was talking about the same thing on how to motovlog, and it's really, <laughs> it comes down to uh, just speaking from the heart, whatever, you know, you get on your bike and, and you just talk, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, think that you have to have a, a specific topic all the time, and, you know, there's some things that I set out to do with different topics, or I set out to talk about a topic, um, you know, I've got my, my notepad that I keep on my iPhone, and uh, I keep topics that kind of pop into my head throughout the day on there, and sometimes I, I go out and I, I shoot a vlog based on a topic that I really want to talk about. But uh, a lot of the times I just, I get on my bike and I turn on the camera like I'm doing today and uh, I see where it takes me. And uh, I had no intention of talking about motovlogging. I don't know why I'm, I'm even on this, on this uh, topic. But uh, it, it's something that, you know, just kind of popped in my head. So, you know, don't really think that you always have to plan it out. Um, I think it's just the habit of getting out there and doing it consistently that will make you a better moto vlogger and you'll come up with stuff to talk about you'll come up with topics there's uh there's no set pathway to it it's uh creative like triple x says if you're in a creative space um and if people don't like what you're putting out there then they, they don't watch it but uh, you know i've got tons of videos up there i think i've got almost 80 videos 85 videos or something right now that i've made and some are not very popular some still only have a couple hundred views you know, and then some, like the one I just posted, you know, has uh, in one week more views than, than most of my other videos combined in the last couple months. So, um, you know, you're just you're making a you're making a video, and you see you see what people like, and then you kind of go from there. And uh, as much as I'd like to every vlog shoot uh, a video where I'm doing a test ride or a view or you know, going back and forth, that's just, it's not feasible for me, you know, I can't test ride that many bikes, I can't coordinate it all, um, so that every vlog that I have to put out once or twice a week is for that specific thing, but it doesn't mean that I can't moto vlog in between and just talk about topics that come to my mind. So... I guess the, the best advice, I know I've done a video recently on what I would suggest to get started motovlogging, um, but after you do your ride and your review and all of that kind of stuff, just speak from the heart, you know? Get on a bike, turn on the camera. The, the best thing that I, can, that I can say is, you don't have to post it. <laughs> I know that I, I, you know, and I've sent a few messages back and forth with Sean Smoke, but I have so much video of me just rambling on my motorcycle that I have not posted because it, I don't think it would make a good vlog. But the thing is, you don't see that. You don't see all of the video that I have stored that, that I screwed up or, you know, didn't come out the way I wanted it or I said something stupid or I said something I didn't want to put out there. You know, you don't see all of that. You only see what I actually put out there. So don't be afraid to get on a bike and just talk from the heart and, uh, you know, whatever pops into your head. And, you know, some of them will be popular and some of them won't. You don't have to have, you know, 10 or 15,000 views on every video that you put out there. Um, as you do this a little bit more, you'll get better at it and uh, you'll uh, you'll come up with different topics and you'll see what works. So. I guess that's my, my best advice that I can give. Uh, I know I've kind of rambled on and talked about this topic a little longer than people probably want to watch. Uh, but yeah, that's the best advice I can give on it. So I'm going to kind of close this out, maybe talk about something different <laughs> uh, on my next vlog here. And uh, all my social media links are below, you know, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all uh, you know, my website, all of that, sign up for e email updates. All that jazz is going to be below in the in the comments sec or in the info section. So uh, go go ahead and check that out. And uh, until next time, guys, ride safe.